Welcome to the Scrapbooking Inspiration Podcast. I'm your host, Melissa Shannon, founder of DigitalScrapbookingHQ.com, and today I'm here to talk with you about another tool that we can use to protect, store, and manage our precious memories. Today I've been joined by a very special guest, Karen Fitting from PhotosKeptAlive.com. Hi, Karen. Hi, Melissa. Thank you. Oh, it's great to be speaking with you again. Um, yep. Now, I know that in today's world, we, we've got photographs on every device we own, it seems. And um, I wanted to have you on to talk a bit today about the Forever Photo Storage Service. Because I know that you are a big fan. We're both Forever Ambassadors, but I, you've been using this service for longer than me and so I wanted to get you in to explain to everyone what it's all about and why you would even want to use a photo storage um, service. Yep, perfect. I um, Yes, I've been using the storage service. Gosh, it's been a couple years but I find that I'm in it and working with it more daily now, mm. more on a day-to-day -day basis. Mm. So with with many of us, we've had that situation where something's happened, we've upgraded our phone, we've had a phone die on us, <laughs> we've had a camera dropped and we've had a memory card corrupted. We've lost our photographs in some form or other. I'm sure it's happened to every single person. Um, but Forever Storage is all about preventing that um, through using their online storage services and of course installing their um, apps on your phones and other devices. So do you want to just talk to us a little bit of the thinking behind Forever Storage and how it actually works? Sure, sure. First of all, Forever Storage was founded by a man who was looking for a permanent place to store his memories. He's um, The founder is named Glenn Meekham. And you can look him up. He's a former investment fund person as well as a military, um, former military, U.S. military. And Forever really is permanent storage and shareable storage. And the thing that Mr. Meekum did was look at the privacy policies and terms and conditions from a lot of other photo storage products. Uh, today, we can think Google Photos, Dropbox, even Facebook mm. um, are common places that people are, are sharing their photos or storing their photos, but none of them really have um, terms and conditions that benefit the memory holder, the person who's saving their photos on those venues. So that's really what makes Forever the difference. Mm. Um, and he's he's really done a nice job of making it easy to use, but creating a privacy policy in terms and conditions that really benefit us, the consumers. Mm. Because it's definitely a very different service in terms of that permanent storage option. I mean, even with a service where you pay for it, I mean, there's a lot of free services or... You know, Google Photos is one that springs to mind. You sort of, Google is not looking of getting out of the photo business anytime soon, but they have discontinued other services along the way. And it's not like you have a contract with them. It's free. Um, but Forever has set up the system so that you really are guaranteed your storage. And that's, that's true, and you actually said an important word for us as Forever Ambassadors, and that's the word guaranteed. Mm. Um, people now are very familiar with photo companies either going out of business or changing their services. Sh I've heard recently um, that people who had photos on Shutterfly prior to, I think, the year 2000, Shutterfly just decided to remove those photos mm. without without notice, at least in some some cases that I've heard about. So Forever has what's called the Forever Guarantee, and you can just go to forever.com slash guarantee to look at it. And there are really, for my purposes, for me to, I'll simplify it, 
two key points to the guarantee that really oh. brought me along. The guarantee is worth reading, and it's worth reading privacy policy and these kinds of things on any site mm. that you use, free or for pay. The forever guarantee is meant to be easy to read, and the two points that I like the best are that it's guaranteed to keep your photos for my lifetime plus 100 years. And a lot of people kind of cringe and look at me and say, really, how can they do that? Mm. Well, because the founder comes from um, a wealth management background, he knows about annuity funds. Mm. And that's really how I think of this. Of the money we pay to forever, some of that, actually quite a bit of it, goes into this guaranteed fund. So should something happen to the company legally, and for whatever reason, um, the f leadership dissolves, this guaranteed fund will cover us in recapturing our photos at full resolution mm. with no compression. So that's the first thing that I really love. And I was just thinking about that. Um, I recently heard um, on Reply All about another situation where there was a photo company and they didn't want to, uh, um, you know, they, they had the customer's best interests at heart, but they just physically ran out of money and there was nothing they could do. Um, whereas the forever guarantee, the way they've set that up, means that that just can't happen because already, as soon as you've purchased your account, that's already built in, um, that's already funded, it's already set up legally, so that won't happen to you. <laughs> That's correct. That's very, very true. Um, the second thing that I really love, and this really brings a lot of people to think about forever, is the guarantee to update the media, in this case our JPEG images and our PDF files, mm. um, to whatever modern day format it is. Mm. So you and I have been around long enough probably to see the evolution of technology yes. and the change of file formats. And so I feel very certain, maybe not in my lifetime, but certainly in my niece's and nephew's lifetime, there's going to be some new format other than JPEG. Oh, and so part of that guaranteed fund allows for the automatic updating, again at full resolution, to those modern formats. And that's a really um, great point. As I'm, I'm an archivist by training, so one of the things we I wrote a lot about was about um, migration into different formats and, and how you would do that because people like National Archive Services, they already have plans in place um, to deal with, you know, migrating data from the current um, formats to future proofing. So it's not something that we often as consumers might think about, but it's really, um, it's going to be important if we want, you know, future generations to be able to see. People always talk about, you know, this generation has the most photos, but they won't last or whatever. But with forever, they will last because when inevitably, whenever it happens that file formats change, our photos will be migrated. And yeah, that, that really jumped out at me too because of, like I said, my background of too many hours researching <laughs> this kind of stuff. <laughs> and it's right, great right. because we don't have to think about it. We won't have to run conversion software on all 30,000 of our images when we're, you know, 80 or something. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Mm. And I think the price for storage is really quite good. And what some people are doing, you know, you can decide as a consumer whether you want your entire photo library on forever. Mm. I and, and then there's the other extreme where you only want the most special quote unquote five star photos in your forever account. Mm. Personally, I land kind of in the middle where um, I'm putting quite a few things on my account. Uh, and I, I definitely need to maybe curate the account a little bit, mm. but I'm not running out of space. So I figure I, I have plenty of room to do whatever I want at this point in my life. Mm. 
Yeah, so it's certainly very flexible and there's different payment plans and ways yep. you can go about how much storage you need. And um, as you walk through the process, it also explains how many, how how much storage you're getting and how much that means in terms of photos and, and video or whatever you're working on. Um, so I guess this is talk a little bit about kind of the big picture of it. So let's talk about what your Forever Library actually looks like and how um, you get your photos from your your phone or your computer actually to get them into Forever. Okay, that sounds good. Uh, the first thing I recommend to people new to Forever, of course, is to play with it and you can get a free account through the link that I know you're going to provide. You can sign up for a free trial account. It's not a trial for time limit. It's simply a trial for size. But then the next thing I recommend people do is to use the, um, the mobile device app mm -hmm. and to download it on um, both the Android and the um, Apple operating systems. And with that app, I recommend for people getting started just to have the app automatically synchronize the mobile phone pictures into the Forever account. Mm -hmm. And they can do that while they're on Wi-Fi, so they don't have to use their paid cellular data to do mm -hmm. that. And the reason I recommend that for new people is it really gives you a chance to kind of play with the account. Mm. Because you can organize the account in whatever way makes sense for you. Mm -hmm. For me, I have a variety of albums in my account. Um, and each album might be the name of an event or an activity. Mm. And I then will move my my untagged or unlabeled, you know, my, my pictures that aren't organized, yes. that are already in the account, I can then move them to the appropriate albums. Mm. And I can either do that from my computer or from my phone. Mm. So I find for people getting started, just working with their mobile phone pictures is at least a good starting point mm. to to learn how the, the system works. Mm. From there, you can bring pictures in either from your phone or from your computer. The interface is quite simple, and you could do, any, do it in whatever method works best for how you're doing your organizing. Mm. So when you um, log into your Forever account, say for example for me I've got it on my iPhone I've got it on my computer and when I log in I'll the default is just like a photo roll it just shows your photos in order of your dates and then from there you've got organizational tools of albums and tags and another thing you mentioned right when we were first talking about forever is that it's a sharing account and so do you want to just talk yes. about how that works and how the yeah just how it all works because I know that's a very important part of it because what's the use of having these photos preserved if no one can see them exactly exactly so there are a variety of privacy settings that I can set in my account and in addition to my overall account privacy settings I can set privacy settings for albums and even for pictures individually. And so for me, I have many of my albums set um, as private, but mm -hmm. then I might decide, I may, like I, I go to Disneyland quite a bit. Mm -hmm. So I might do uh, an album of my Disneyland pictures and I may want to share that with the people I went on that trip with. Mm. So I can just with a click of a button, share the album and it'll either let me share it through my email or it will give me a link that I can use to share whether it's on social media or up through texting or some other outlet. Mm. So there's more than one way to share. Mm. And I have to say one thing that's brand spanking new that I honestly haven't tested or played with is um, that we're, we've created a connection with Facebook. Mm-hmm. So there is now a way to bring your Facebook pictures into your Forever account. Mm. And that's brand new as of like 10 days ago. Yeah. And so that's something that's also a new thing. Yeah, and that's really great for people who like 
you know, we don't want anyone to feel bad about maybe how they've been dealing with their photos in the past. And even though Facebook isn't the best place for your photos, hey, if that's what you've been doing and you haven't had a better solution, hey, no guilt, just bring them all into forever and you've at least got those lower resolution photos, but you've got them preserved. So it'll be... Exactly. It'll, it'll be so much better than, you know, <laughs> just le- letting them kind of languish there. <laughs> right, so I'm, right. I'm really excited about that too. And I love that... Um, for me, one thing I, I like about Forever is that anyone can have that free account and can at least play with it, check it out and see how it works. And it's a really good um, service because it can totally work with um, what you're doing on your computer. A lot of listeners um listening today might be um, digital scrapbookers who might have their photos pretty organized on their computers and they may even have like burnt off DVDs or whatever in the past with their photos and now they might be thinking okay well I'd love to use forever to either back up my whole photo library or I'm just going to export my five star photos from Lightroom or something and upload them. Um, But it can definitely work with your existing um, system and from your computer there's also the Forever um, Valet. Do you want to just talk a little bit, (laughs) explain that one for us? Sure thing. And I also wanted to remind the digital scrapbooker, since that's a big part of your audience, Mm. um, that even the finished layouts, no matter what software application you're using, they pretty much all generate a JPEG file of the finished layout. Mm -hmm. And so you can save those in your forever account as well. Mm. And I've been doing that a lot. That's been kind of a nice way for me to archive and share my digital photo albums, whether or not I personally choose to print them. So, Valet is, um, gosh, I hate to compare it to competitor products, but it's sort of like Google and Dropbox in that you can put a folder on your computer. If it were me, I'd probably do it on my desktop Mm. and put whatever images in I want to share to forever in that folder. Mm. And then that folder becomes a synchronized folder to your forever account. Mm. So you can have forever reach into that folder and pull whatever pictures are in there so that you can upload them quickly and easily into your forever account. Mm. And it, I mean, we've just scratched the surface so far. I mean, there's lots of really great um, organizational features and all that. I feel like we will definitely have to come and... um, talk more about it but I don't want to overwhelm people today (laughs) well I think you know the the one thing that we haven't said that Mm. I think will help people if they're starting to feel like they're overwhelmed and you mentioned it earlier we're both forever ambassadors Mm. and one of the big benefits and this is something that um, other companies don't have is we'll provide answers to your questions oh you can phone or email or message us And um, we'll find answers. If we don't know them quickly, we'll find answers for you. As a Forever Ambassador, we're using the the products. Mm. And so I'm invested and I think you're invested in helping people become successful with the product. That's right. So that's something that I think really differentiates us. With with a not to be mentioned large company, you know, there's no (laughs) way with Google Photos, you cannot just get a real person to help you with your account. I mean, there's lots of great people out there who are running their own businesses who, who provide classes, you know, on, on right. that software. But Google themselves hasn't got a dedicated customer service person waiting to take your call. Whereas we're here as Forever Ambassadors. We want you to be successful. We want you to understand, okay, well, I've I've uploaded all of these photos and then now I'm not really sure how I get them into an album. How do I do that? And and we'll be able to talk you through step by step. You know, we'll link you up to a video or we'll have a Skype call and we'll talk you through the process. And that's a really, um, that's a really big benefit 
that comes with being a customer. Mm. Agreed. Mm. Yeah, so I, I'm just really excited to share um, forever with everyone today and I hope that you will take a look and, and definitely use the link over at digital um, use the link digiscraphq.com slash forever and you can go ahead there and you can sign up for a free account and like Karen said just download it on your phone and get it to start with your um, mobile phone photos and just see how that goes for you play around with it make an album or two and um, you know if you've got a favorite photo share that with someone <laughs> and if you need help um, if you know you can't there's lots of information in the help center but if you've had a look at that you just need a hand we're definitely keen to help you out with that absolutely yeah and it's a really unique service it's not um, like we like we said, it's a guaranteed storage solution. It's not going to go away when a company, um, you know, like Facebook or whatever, decides to change their privacy policy or whatever. You've got your guaranteed storage. You've got your guaranteed future proofing. So um, this service won't be a big burden on, you know, your future generations who are like, well, I've got this big pile of laser discs and I don't have anywhere to <laughs> I don't know how to even <laughs> we don't have a laser disc player <laughs> or we don't have a Betamax player or we don't have a movie protector um, yeah it's it, it's really um, very I don't know I just think it's a very forward thinking service and there's nothing else out there that really has planned for the future quite in the same way I agree completely, and I've been lucky enough to hear some of the what's coming down the road, and that's also going to be very exciting. Mm, it is. Well, thank you so much for your time today, Karen, and I'm going to... You're welcome. Uh, I'm going to um, have show notes for today's episode, um, and you can go ahead and check out the show notes, and you can find a link to set up your own free forever uh, account so you can try it out see how it works I'll have a sample <laughs> album that I'll, I'll share with you so that you can actually see how the whole process works thank you so much for listening today and I hope you, this has got you thinking about what you're doing with your photos and whether a permanent storage solution like forever will work for you and Here's a little hint. I think it definitely will. <laughs> um, all right. Thank you so much for listening and I'll catch you in the next episode. For the show notes for today's episode, head to scrapbookingpodcast.com slash 63. Thanks so much for listening today. If you'd like to see the special deals that Forever has on this month, you can head to digiscraphq.com slash forever and then click on the deals menu button at the very top of the page. There you'll see the current offers. For August, there's 25% off forever storage, which is an awesome deal. And there's some fantastic deals on their software and digital kits as well. So go check it out, digiscraphq.com slash forever. I'm an ambassador for forever. So if you purchase using that link, you'll support the Digital Scrapbooking HQ website and this podcast. So I really appreciate your help. Thanks so much for listening and I'll see you in the next episode.